Hello and welcome to WSDH Live 91.5 Sandwiches Community Radio Station. My name is Jay McGrail. I'm the host, um, one of your school committee members here in Sandwich. And today I have the honor of uh, doing this podcast with Jim Mulcahy, the new principal uh, that's going to take uh, take over for Dr. Boris, who's retiring in the next uh, month here. So uh, welcome, Jim. Glad Thank to you, have Jay. You. Appreciate it. So what, Ju- July 1st, June 30th? Uh, July 1 is my official start date in Sandwich. Um, uh, and my official end date at Silver Lake, where I am currently, is June 30th. So I guess not much of a uh, lag time in between, which is, is fine. This is, I don't think I'd have it any other way. Um, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I have some meetings scheduled. I went to the strategic planning uh, meeting for Sandwich last week. I've got a couple other... Um, meeting dates scheduled for here to, to kind of help with um, the transition uh, going from Dr. Boris to me and yeah. um, I have some meetings with some kids with uh, Superintendent Dr. Gould and um, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to kind of get cemented here and, and um, get rolling. <laughs> well, we're, we're really excited to have you, Jim. I mean, I, I met, had the opportunity to meet you a few months ago and uh, I've known your wife for a while and <laughs> Jim's a resident. For those that don't know, Jim's a resident of Sandwich. How long mm-hmm. do you live in Sandwich? Uh, this is my seventh year in Sandwich. We seventh moved here. Yeah, we moved here in, in um, 2010. Um, my my kids right now are in the fourth and fifth grade, so they were just starting out. We wanted to get our roots in somewhere yeah. for schooling. Um, and, you know, this, this town has a great reputation um, as far as school is concerned and everything else, really. I mean, we were really excited to be here when we moved here. Um, and it's been a it's been a, a really good place for us to raise our family and to live. So we've we've both gotten involved at all levels uh, within the town, specifically with youth sports and and activities with our kids. And um, it's been great. Um, I, I said it during my interviews here at the school that um, our our experience with Oak Ridge specifically that's where we've been. So you know, with the kids yeah. has has been tremendous. The teachers. Uh, the administration, everybody's been, it's, it's really like a family-oriented environment and everybody's open for um, all kinds of discussion about student success, which is really the key yeah. um, for everybody in education, I think. So, well, I um, have similar experiences with Oak Ridge, yeah. I'm glad that you do too. It's good to hear as a parent, not just as a, a, exactly. a principal that's coming up. I, I have a daughter in Oak Ridge right now yeah. and one in Forestdale, and actually that's where I first met you was when you presented, you're on the, you were on the school council. Right. For uh, Oak Ridge, and you guys pre- <coughs> presented the school improvement plan to the school committee a couple of years ago or last year. Yeah, I mean, that's an area, obviously, being a school administrator, it was an area that I felt as though I could help out. Yeah. You know, I, you know my background in teaching has been um, in physical education and coaching, and so, you know, I've, I've lended um, my hands to youth sports, basically, as far as in that arena, and then... As far as school is concerned, I have a, a ton of experience running school councils, so yeah. I, I felt as though that was a really good avenue for me to help out. Um, given the time frame and my commitments at work off Cape, you know, I think I, I carved out time really to, to help out with yeah. you know, policy and school improvement plans um, specifically for Oak Ridge. And I know that it was a difficult time when you know, the wing school closed and everything, for all intents and purposes, redistricted within the town. And I know that that um, the school improvement plan was a huge piece moving forward to making sure things were set um, for the schools for Forest Hill, for Oak Ridge, for the high school, for STEM. Yeah, um, specifically at Oak Ridge, where we have a thousand kids. Yeah, right, it's our largest school right now. Um, you know, I think there's almost as many kids in Oak Ridge as there is in this building. Right, STEM and the high school. Right. So it's an important piece to us. I guess the two of us can kind of debunk the myth that people don't move here for the schools anymore because I did the exact same thing you did about <laughs> seven years ago. I moved my family here for okay. the schools. In the yeah. So, you know, I hear, I read on social media, and I, I hear people say that, you know, we've lost something in the sandwich schools, and I, I just don't see it. I think what we do, we have a robust program, K-12, through and, you know, I'm, I'm proud to live here and, and raise my kids in this town. Yeah, I, you know, I can only, as a parent, I can speak to what has gone on at Oak Ridge, and I, I've been thrilled with what both my son and daughter, who are in fourth and fifth grade, have, have gone through. Um, and then just the, the, the small amount of time I've spent at school committee meetings um, and seeing presentations. I think the last, the last one I was at was when I was introduced as the next principal mm-hmm. on a computer science program um, 
the curriculum and the classes were introduced or, or gone over by the department chairs in that area, and I think... Um, I don't know, I've sat through a whole bunch of them over the last <laughs> bunch of Wednesday nights. I'm we've sorry. Uh, well, no, they were but there great. Were two, the, yeah. the, um, maybe Project Legal, the pre-engineering program, yeah. and computer science were both gone over and, and you know I think people and I say this to people that I see on the ball fields and, and any of my friends in town that I talk to I said people should really be excited about what's going on um, at STEM and at the high school you know there, there are a lot of programs here that not that people should feel lucky that they have here not a lot of schools have the robust programs I think the computer science program it's 10 or 12 classes that are offered within that program and you know that's that's amazing yeah, it really expensive. is you know I don't have that currently where I am and I, and I feel, you know, if I wasn't coming here, I'd feel a little jealous that, you know, I didn't have that at my school now. So, you know, I think that's something to, that people should really be excited about and should be proud of. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities that come out of that for students that take those courses and, and, and reach graduation and are looking for, you know, secondary, you know, the next level, mm -hmm. going to college, you know, or going to college, going to the military, the workforce, that background that they could have through those programs is... Right. That's great. It's outstanding. I think one of the things we need to do is really start marketing that and really letting people know everything that we do. And that's kind of been one of the things that I've learned through this program, through this podcast, is all of those great things. I hear them at school committee, and yeah. it's always in real formal presentations. But when you get the opportunity to sit down with some of those teachers and department chairs and hear, you know, and from the kids, all yeah. of the unbelievable yeah. things we're doing, it really resonates. And uh now, one of the, one of I know through our strategic plan that we have that we're going to roll out in the next five years here is, is is marketing. You know, really getting people to understand all the great things that we're doing, and I think you're going to be a huge part of that. You know? Yeah, I think you have to you have to promote um, all the great things you do, and I think that's an area that I've always stated. Just living in town, and obviously your foot you get you get focused as a parent on where your your child is at in school. So. Mm -hmm. It's, it's tough sometimes just from a time commitment standpoint to look at everything that goes on within the town. It's, um, awesome. it's understanding, you know, <laughs> everybody's yeah. busy. But I think, you know, in it, the promotional piece, the looking at all the good that happens, all the positive programs, all the success, the student success, the teacher success, the things that happen here, they, they do need to be promoted. That's, that is something that is, is key in, in any field, but we're looking at an education piece you do need to talk about it. Yeah. You know, that's why I go back to people should be proud. People should be proud because they know what's going on here and they're really happy about the programs that are offered. And I think that's and I and I heard that during the strategic planning meeting. And that's another thing that I would I said it to Dr. Gould after I said, you know, everybody's really on the ball here. The, everybody's in going in the right direction. We are with um, with education. Everybody's positive about it. Everybody's um, uh, has ownership. That's mm -hmm. really the the word that I was using after that meeting. You know, you saw those subgroups that presented in that meeting. That and you know it's going to be a public presentation soon. But the the, the students involved, the teach, the staff involved, faculty, the the, the school committee involvement, parents. just parents. Every every stakeholder has been at the table with those discussions and and moving forward with with those plans. And that's vital. And in order for that to be a, a living document and to be successful. You have to have all stakeholders involved. It's, in, it's important, and we had residents involved that don't even have children in the district yep. that have no involvement in the district whatsoever. That you know, really put a lot of effort and time into putting that plan yeah. together. It's going to be exciting. It shows that, that people want things to be successful. Yeah. Want things to, to that, work. That's how I feel. My yeah. last two years working with the San Juan Public Schools through the school committee and meeting all of the different administrators and teachers, there's so much enthusiasm and excitement behind yeah. everything that we do here. It's, uh, you know, I, I feel like. You know we're really on a winning a winning track, so it's going to yes. be exciting pulling it all together. Over yeah, the next few I, years. and I'm and I'm excited to get started in doing it. And I know that um, you know over the next <laughs> I guess six weeks or five weeks, whatever it is, not, it's, even. It, not even right. <laughs> um, there's a lot to do um, in order to you know I I, I want to um, meet people here in the building and and um, as I said um, get the lay of the land. You yeah. know really coming into this position, I know I will. Um, and I'm excited to to see those changes happen and to be a part of implementing those. It's never one person; it's always a team effort with me, and I know it is with the town here. So, um, and I'm really happy to be a part of it. No, but you need a captain of the ship. And that's yeah, the role that yeah. you're jumping into. Yeah. So, you know, it's a it's a big building. There's a lot of kids, and uh, you know, I'm confident that Dr. Gould made the right decision in hiring you. And 
you know, from the moment that I met you and a bunch of the school committee and people met you and got to know you, I mean, it's clear having a sandwich resident yeah. that's got a vested interest in our community, um, you know, children in the district, you know, every part of you. You, you. you may not have been able to volunteer all the time that you wanted to in the past, but you found how you could make your volunteering. Uh, that's count. what makes it work. Yeah. You know, that's what makes it work. That's what I'm doing too. Yeah, you know, exactly. Finding a way to volunteer to make our, our, our town better. Yeah, I, I think it's important. Um, you know, I, I always promote that. Anyway, you promote it within with your kids within the school, not just your own kids, but every kid. Mm -hmm. You know, get involved. I say it all the time. The school I'm at, and I'll continue to say it to to the sandwich students as we move forward. Like, get involved with your education, get involved with your town. You know, have ownership of it because it's yours. Yeah. You know, and you have to you have to have that ownership piece to to be successful. You it's have to important. have that hook with you know all the programs that are here there's plenty of offerings for students and yeah. not only that if we don't have something come talk to me and we'll get it because <laughs> i want everybody to be successful that's what i say to my current students um so i think i appreciate the kind words i i i definitely um when i came to my first interview and they asked me you know why should we pick you or why should you move on i said because you know i have a i have a passion for this place i mean i yeah. chosen to live here i've chosen to raise my my family here uh, we've had a great experience so far, and I want to be a part of it. Uh, I think, um, based on my experience, I have a lot to offer with that stuff, and um, I'm, you know, I've met a lot of the staff already. I've, I, I know a lot of families. I've talked to a lot of people, and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm excited about it. I think it's this town has a lot of good energy in it, and uh, it sure does, <laughs> it sure does. And it, it's a, it's a battle too. I mean, yeah. our politics are tough in Sandwich, and I, that you know a lot of that already. So sure. Uh, well, you know. It, Politics, I think, are tough, and I agree with you. Politics are tough in any community. Um, you know, you're talking about money and budget. Yeah. You know, and at the end of the day, and um, you know, you have a lot of important programs within the town that that need that that budgetary support yeah. in order to be successful. So I understand that piece, and you know, I'm coming from an area that had three separate communities and three separate budgets that needed to come together to. To, uh, to fund the school, and, and I know there's there's a highway department, there's police and fire departments, there's there, there's all kinds of yes. programs that, that need to be funded. It's important for the town, all areas. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I get that piece, and, and it's, it's difficult, but you navigate, you, you, you put your heads together, you try to navigate a direction and come up with something that works for everybody. And fortunately, in the last year, we've all worked really well as a team, you know, yeah. the finance committee, the board of selectmen, all the different committees in town, and ultimately town meeting on working towards uh, you know, working together and right. improving the district and improving the town. So I think you're coming on board with a, you know, winning team. And, uh, I do too. Glad to have you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you have graduation Saturday at Silver Lake? Graduation for Silver Lake Saturday. I know it's the same here for Sandwich. Yeah. Um, you know, a big day for the community. I always say the biggest day, the, the, the um, biggest day for families and kids mm -hmm. um, in the community. It's a very public day. It's a yeah. prideful day, you know. You know, you're coming to the end of 13 years of education um, in one one town. There's a lot of memories, yeah, that's um, for sure. and a lot of successes that need to be celebrated on that day. And, and um, you know, it'll be an emotional day for me, leaving Silver Lake. Um, I grew up in that region, and I went to school there. And, and I've had the um, I've been fortunate to to work in the place that I yeah. I went to school. So I have my own memories there. So it'll be tough, but. Um, I know that on the horizon I'm, I'm coming here and, and I'm excited about it. So. Yeah, that was your dream job until you found out about Sandwich. Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> We're glad you took yeah, over. Yeah, um, so I, I, you know, I, I guess I, I would say that I congratulate all the, the families and students uh, on a great accomplishment. You know, um, it's a very, very important day and it's a very happy day. And, um, and I'm, Hopefully we get sunshine. I know. Uh, no one likes to to experience the ceremony indoors. It's yeah. <laughs> well, we'll but your fingers crossed. You keep your fingers crossed and you do what you know, you have to make yeah. tough decisions on what's best on that day. But we I I had rehearsal this morning with my kids and I said, you know, I always talk positively so I never say we're going to be indoors. We're always planning on being outside on the field. It doesn't you know, look like a total washout, so hopefully that works. Correct. Happens. Hopefully that works out. So uh, you know, congrats to all the graduates. Congrats here in to Sandwich all the graduates in both schools. Yeah, Sandwich exactly. and Silver Lake. Exactly. Else. So, well, you have big shoes to fill. But I do. You can do the job. We're yeah. really looking forward to working with you. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it as well. Yeah. Lots, lots of change in Sandwich. New superintendent, new high school principal. Uh, we're all heading in a good direction. Though, yeah. So. I'm excited to be a part of it, like I said before. And um, 
you know, I appreciate the opportunities that everybody has afforded me thus far, and I, and I hope I, uh, you know, I know I'll, I'll work hard with everybody to, to make this experience for every student that comes through here a positive one and a successful one. I'm sure you will, John. Yeah. All right. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. Uh, thanks again to Jim Mulcahy, the new principal at Sandwich High School and the Sandwich Stem Academy. Uh, this is Jay McGrail signing off for WSDH Live 91.5 Sandwich's Community Radio Station. Thanks. Thank you. WSDH Live is recorded at WSDH Studios in Sandwich, Massachusetts. We are executive produced by Paula Johnson with podcast production by Ryan Hill. He also made the music. Remember to check out WSDH on TuneIn.com and the TuneIn app for more great content. As always, thank you for supporting Sandwich Community Radio. We'll catch you next time.